okay. The pages have been pressed in the book press and I am going to put these into signatures. But let's just see how well these fit. We got lots of room for, for goodies. Um, but first I want to use some of the leftover fabric from the spine to glue my template to. I had to make a new template because I lost mine. I don't, it'll show up, I'm sure. Um, but I had to make a new one. So I need a piece of fabric about, well, let's say four inches. About four inches. Now you're darn near five. Okay. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm looking for my silicone brush. book. I'm going to let that dry. When it is dry, I will um, poke holes where each line crosses, the, each vertical line crosses the horizontal line. And that will give me the stitch holes for my signatures. Okay, put you aside. Now, I do have some leftover fabric, and it would be a shame not to use it, so. I was thinking some page ruffles wouldn't be terrible. So I'm going to cut some strips. I have a ruffler attachment for my sewing machine. Um, so I'm going to cut these down probably an inch and a half. I think an inch would be too small, but two inches is too big. So let's say an inch and a half. Okay, ruffles are done. I'll just put them to the side. Okay, so I want these fairly even. So the original book pages are going to be the anchor pages. So I will lay these out. Not sure that I'll have enough room, but we're going to give it a shot. Next, I've got a 
got book pages. The large, largish, largish pages. And then I've got the plainish. Now, got these little ones. I'm not sure that I'm going to use those. I'll leave that out. Alright, so I'm going to start putting this together. I'm just going to go through all these. They don't have to be put together the exact same way. Probably not the best way to do things, but, uh, you know, if you want to, you want to. So, uh, let me just work through this bit. All right, we're all assembled. And I've added a little tab to the top to number each of the signatures. Uh, this is a little trick that I learned from my crafty crush, Catherine. Um, it's just a good way of organizing things. So, as I go through each signature, these are the little post-its I use. I find these at thrift stores constantly. Um, <clears throat> so, I want to do pa some page edges. That could be fabric, lace, or trim a tab, a cluster, a tag, or a small piece of, uh, of genuine ephemera. I have some tea cards and cigarette cards of birds. I'll have to dig some of those out. And on inside the pages, I want at least one pocket per signature. So a pocket, either paper or fabric, some tuck spots, and possibly a belly band. Um, so... I think I will get started. Let's start 
Should we start at the back? Let's start at the back. Okay, on the back of this page, we have this huge blank spot. Um, this is perfect for a a pocket. I'm going to make one. I think What if I did that? This is the back of a book. And And I think I'm going to paint the bird with some watercolors. Um, let's see if I got another piece of paper that just has... glue this together I'm not going to trim it until after I've painted it. I'll grab my watercolors. I am no stretch of the imagination an artist. This is mostly just coloring in for me. Um, there won't be any fantastic blending. Um, this won't probably look like a real bird because I was thinking I would like to make him pink and green. Just mixing a little yellow in with each layer of green. Pour a 
little guy's gonna look like a parrot. Making them pink here. So I think you can All right, now I want a green, 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 green. Maybe I'll mix some blue in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good.
Can't stay in the lines. My maroon color. Oh, I'm making a right mess, aren't I? Okay. Look at you. <laughs> I didn't let that dry. Hmm. Now we can just glue this down. So I opened up the flaps to sew it, and now I'm going to put glue on the flaps to glue them down. And the little guy. Not bad at all. Now, I do like to do some sort of an edge on at least one page in the in each signature. Um, I want to choose a page that's robust. I think I'll go with this one. I'm using a little fabric tack.
Hmm. I've got a little piece of lace here. Just glue that on top and so all right that part's done um, I want to talk about page surfaces so um, to decorate a rather plain page I mean you need plain pages to put more stuff in later but sometimes a little bit of decoration will just you know give it a little extra oomph and uh, it doesn't cost any more room in the the dense density of the the text block um, so sometimes I'll you know use some ink and a stencil a little bit of paint some texture paste do a little collage add some fussy cuts um, so I just want to show you I was having some sewing machine problems um, I, maybe it's time for it to go in for some service. I don't know, but I had to thread and re-thread and pull threads and, and now this edge is all looking butchered. So I want to cover that up. I'm going to do, th do that with a piece of very old newspaper that my mom gave me. So I'm just going to cut out this This is pretty crisp. So I'm going to glue that on top and then tear some off. Okay. Um, Trying to decide what glue I want to use. All right. I think I'm going to let that dry for a bit and then I'm going to 
I'm going to tear that off. Um, but to further decorate that, so it's uh, in keeping with the theme, I'm going to grab some postage stamps that have birds on them. So I've picked out some stamps here. Um, I think something I will return to is stamps while I'm completing this book. Um, I was thinking I might do like a little collage of three, you know, like hanging pictures on a gallery wall, but um, that was a little bit of overkill. <laughs> so I'm just going with one. And that's an, um, I think that's an Audubon. It looks very audubon -ish. But it's not marked. Okay, oh, we made a silk purse out of that sow's ear. This will be, there'll be pages in between here, so I thought maybe I'd put a little fussy cut down here. I have a ton of bird fussy cuts, all kinds of sizes. All ready to go. All ready. This already has the look of the stencil because of the the pattern of the leaves. All right, let's see what else we've got here. So we did a pocket, we did an edge. That's pretty much all I'm concerned about. this inside because I don't like it next to the bird. I like to put here? Maybe nothing. Let's not get carried away. Let's stick with our one pocket, one edge, decorate as necessary. Okay, um, so I'm going to call this one done for now, but I will be working through each of the signatures individually. I will also have to make tags. Um, I probably have a bunch of pre-made stuff with birds. Let's let's face it. Um, so um, I will probably do one more signature on camera. Well, let me clear the decks and see what we're going to do next. Okay. Um, this is signature number eight, and I would like to put a pocket, I think, 
Look at this fabric. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks like pussy willows. And it's in perfect colors for this. Um, just trying to figure out where I want it. I think I'm going to put it on the back of this page. couple different fabrics I could have chosen and I might use this in a different page um, I don't need all of this so I'm gonna just sort of finger press where I want to cut it I think I'd like to wrap the top in something. This is some really old seam binding. Could do something a little fancier. See what I have in hand here. That's pretty. I think I'm gonna go with that. I like the white on on that page. It kind of pops on there. But I'm going with this one. This is an antique. I was fortunate enough to find this recently. So I'm going to glue this to the back and then wrap it around. Okay, this is going to take some sewing. Um, once I've got this stitched down, now I'm thinking, maybe I won't stitch that. It's not necessary. Let's just glue it down. And 
10. This white glue isn't to hold it firmly in place, but sort of pin it in place, you know? Okay, I'm going to sew this. There in my little pocket. So I just added a little bit of interest there by adding a little bead. Um, these strings were the strings that I saved from pulling the signatures apart in the te original text block and um, I didn't glue this down. I used some blind stitches to stitch that down and I think it's kind of cute. Um, I also think I have put things in a different configuration but I want to add a page edge. So that's going to require, this is some stiffer paper. And I've got some crocheted lace here. So I'm going to put it in quite a bit, so right up to where the music staff start. Oh, and I forgot to mention my machine is dead. I ended up having to hand stitch that pocket on. So my next move is going to be to take it apart, see if I can get it working. Just using a little bit of art glitter glue to put a few dots to, again, just pinning it in place. And then I will sew it once my machine is resurrected. Okay, um, so I think you got the, the gist of things. Um, just going to continue working through these signatures and the next step will be sewing them to the template. All right, come back soon. We'll finish this, this uh, journal up in just a few more videos. Mm -hmm.